Welcome back to the Zonnet. The bridge. bridge. Wakefield sealed himself in the cargo hold of the Undine. Smuggling ships like this one often have a hatch underneath for dumping contraband if they get caught. Perhaps the Undine is no different. Stop. Stop just appearing right in front of me. You're giving me a heart attack. What the hell do I need to do over there? Street entrance. Or what? Um, a wedding ring. And yeah, I'm pressing Alt uh, to do things instead of the uh, escape key because, well... You ever get that creepy feeling of being watched? Had that a bunch lately. Funny you ask that. I had this feeling of eyes on me. I looked up on the roof of that building over there and... There was a lady up there, right? I seen her too. Just staring. Then she was... Gone. In a wink. Yeah. You've seen the same thing. Should we tell the others about it? Uh, no. The others might think we're seeing things. First sign of the plague, from what I hear. But yeah, I was going to explain why I uh, press Alt uh, to try and close menus. I've been. Oh god, we have weepers. <laughs> and told the bloody uh, reason why. I've been playing a lot of... Uh... Oh, I already have no time to. I've been playing... Well, not a lot, but... A fair bit of... Uh... Let's design this one first. Of Elder Scrolls Online. And... Elder Scrolls Online, you close with the... Um... I'll just go online you close with uh, you close menus with the alt key which works pretty well actually I mean it's not a button you use for a lot so why not yeah and I feel like in this space with uh, quite a few characters uh, standing pretty close to each other I feel like um, bend time is the way to do it Easy enough. Corrupted charms. Um, no, there's not one I already read. Oh, bloody hell. Back to Corvo's book club. Excerpt from Overseer Report on Black Market Occult Artifacts. The following note was found at the site of a ritual murder attached to the victim's face by nine fish hooks arranged in a suspicious pattern. We inferred that the two parties were involved in a conflict over the construction and sale of a super... 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 is this... that how we write superstitious? I guess... Uh, superstitious charm, using pieces from older, possibly damaged her heretical artifacts. Full investigation recommended Focused. Full investigation rec recommended. Focused on a person named Vivica of Sarconos. Is that somebody you can find in Dishonored uh, 2? That would be awesome. Vivica, you cheat. For months I pull coin into your pockets, paying for all the things you requested. Food and lodging, the outskirts of town, I've talking with birth defects, whose purpose I cannot imagine, toxic plants and alchemical materials, the, the baboon blood and calm tonnage of deep dwelling fish were not cheap, I assure you, but even more costly was the sure crime shawl I painstakingly acquired from sailors during the past year. 
cast from the bones of whales and sent to home with the powers of beyond the world. These cost me half my savings. And you swore to me, swore, that you could provide me with a charm with the charm I wanted. I was quite clear. I had your word that I'd be able to visit Gabrielle in my dreams, and that I could woo her while sleeping. You promised that she would love me. Instead, you delivered to me this lump of old bones, scratched and hacked off, wired together as if, as if made by a child. For two weeks, I kept it close to my heart, and at night while I sleep, I did see Gabrielle. Oh yes, I saw her lying with everyone I ever hated. Rivals and enemies who've bested me in business or in sport, men who have bullied or insulted me, Inclu including my th my infernal older brother. I woke each morning, clenched my teeth in shame and rage. Such terrible nosebleeds I suffered, and my hair began to fall out in clumps. I threw the cursed thing into the lake, just to be rid of it. You told me you were a sorcerer, a simple cartelan, more like. Be that as it may, I want you to know the day I decided to ruin you. I want you to know the day I decided to ruin your life. I will punish you for thinking me an idiot and taking my money. I could send an anomalous delivery, an anonymous letter delivered to the nearest OSC outpost. But that, but what I got in mind is more fitting. There's a gang that operates in Karnaka, assassins. I want you to know that all my remaining funds will be spent putting a contract on your pretty head. You'll never see me again, Lilika. But when the butcher's blaze falls on your neck, or when the poison in your milk taste takes hold, I want you to remember that this is how I repay those who cheat me. Alright, I understand anger, and yeah, this does sound pretty, um... Well, something that would make everybody very angry. I don't really think you get very far with it. I mean, you spent most of... Up anything good? Shut up, Dowd. This is the second time now. I see something, or someone, out of the corner of my eye. But when I turn, they're gone. Someone is watching us. I know. Don't worry, I know. I saw it before, right up there. Well, bollocks. Yeah, you can get eaten by the uh, fishies. Why place a lamp in here? I knew it. Yes, of course, this has me uh, using a bit of older knowledge. Believe me, you want me to use older knowledge here. If I try, when I tried to find this place uh, the way it was intended, it took me way too bloody long. This is the doubt I remember. Corvo left his mark on Cold Ridge, but they won't soon forget you either. What a relief. Life has been remarkably grim in Dunwall lately. This business with the eels might call for a little more diplomacy. But in the long view, a smoking ruin makes as good a monument as any. Yeah, this is a very strong, stark contrast to uh, what he says when you go mostly non-lethal. Because when you do that, he'll say, he'll act really disappointed. 
he'll act really dismissive of you. Oh, come on, let me up there already. Okay. I can't get up there. But yeah, he'll act really dismissive of you. Like, do you really think this will change anything? You stupid little man, of course it won't. It's such a big contrast between uh, how he talks to you. And while you'll be really uh, well, while you will be really kind of annoyed that. Uh, Okay, so on the, the, on the bottom of the ship, on, underneath the ship. But yeah, while well, you might get really this uh, annoyed by the uh, by the really dismissive outsider, now having hearing the opposite, yeah, it's not. Uh, it's not pleasant either. Oh god. Because you know... Yeah, in this, he only really likes you when you are the doubt he expects you to be. The insane murderer. This boat is smaller than I remember. It's a smuggler ship. It's free. It has hidden compartments uh, everywhere. Hmm. What happens if I do this? Oh god, I haven't seen. Okay, that's not good. Yeah, okay, you're not getting away with uh, doing that to me. with cannibals, are we? Where'd you run off to? I give up. He got away. <laughs> that was not the plan. Must have been rats. <laughs> you guys are kind of silly, you know that. Yeah, I've been trying to do a couple uh, drop assassinations, so... But pretty much so I can... Uh... What are they doing over at Cold Ridge? Can't keep their damn prisoners locked up? Ow. Oh, 
Time to signal Lizzie. Really, whatever I did uh, couldn't be worse than what Lizzie has planned. I stepped him through his eye. It's rather horrible, you know. Edgar Wakefield log entry. It's going to pieces. I was just getting things under control, but now I hear Lizzie busted out of Coldridge. How? The deals. Dead eels are starting to swing my ways, and even and I even think we'll wipe out those accused hat at soon. Mr. Hat humiliated me. It's something awful with that raid to steal our engine call, and the payback was going to be was going to be me taking a piss in his stovepipe. But now that the lease is free again, but I've gotten the crew on high alert. Orders to kill anyone that ain't one of us. I'm starting to think I'm a bit, I'm a bit off more than I, I think, I'm starting to think a bit more off more than I can chew. Oh God, words. Before I signify Lizzie, though, let me. Uh, oh, we could have gone in that way. That would have been nice if I saw that. But no, instead I'm a bit of an idiot. Well, it's good at least you know uh, not to come yet. Lizzie Stride is assuming control of the Dead Eels now. She's ordered them to give you safe passage. Awesome. Your friend Edgar Wakefield set me up to be taken by the City Watch, and you followed him, took his orders. But you know what? I forgive you, all of you. I'm filled with love. But the following people each owe me a finger. Logan, Douglas, Bang Bang, Ferris, Hateface, the Bakers, and Annabelle. Shit. Two from you, Annabelle. Have a good night. Uh, I really hate the idea of losing limbs or anything like that. It's horrifying to me. Just, ah, uh, just try to imagine your own hand missing a Got finger. Shut up. Mmm. It's. Oh God. I. Uh, just. Losing anything is horrifying. Can I take your note? This dead. That piece of garbage, Edgar. I'm still living with his incompetence. He let the Hatters cripple the Undine. Ship seems fine to me. They took the engine coil. We're dead in the water. What is it? Can we make a new one? They don't make them anymore. Not for an engine like the Undines. We'll have to get it back. The geezer still leads the header gang, right? I'll pay him a visit. It won't be that easy. There's a snag. Always is. What's this one? The geezer's about a hundred years old by now. He's got it rigged so that if he dies, the whole place gets gassed. So be real careful around him. Got him a nurse and everything. Maybe you can cut a deal for that engine coil. Turn on the charm. One of the Hatters gave me their door password in exchange for keeping the rest of his fingers. It's whalebone. I never got to use it on account of the gas. And being in jail. Just be ready to move when I get back. <sighs> oh, uh, Yeah, you're one, um... Uh, you stay away from me. Stay away, I said. Mm. I really dislike dismemberments. Just the idea of it alone. Ugh. I prefer to keep all my ten fingers, all ten toes, even if some of them are pretty much bloody useless. Both my ears, just... To keep everything where it is, please. They can fall off when I'm dead, not before. 
and even then, please rather not. Admiralty and the Fleet, excerpt from a book on naval history. While each of the Isles has some form of naval fleet, none is more envied than that of Crystal. With its long, proud history of great ships and admirals who command them, boys come of the aged in the cities of Crystals, hoping to someday captain such a ship, and family dynasties are made by those captains, who track down infamous pirates across the nation. Sidious uprisings, as during the Morley insurrection. In times of war and peace, Bristol continues to innovate at sea. The ship design of Anton Sokolov himself now represents the highest standard in the whaling trade, allowing crews to haul their kill up over the deck and begin the butchery and processing, even as the ship returns to Dunwall. The crew can be seen working on their latest whale as the ship moves slowly up the Renhaven River. When coming to dock with one of the powerful warehouse companies, such as the Gravers and the Swaining House, suspended in the rigging overhead and baited and backlit by the setting sun, the silhouette of one of these creatures makes a moving sight as it cruises to its final resting place in the industry's heart of the capital city. I might want to look up some uh, things about the Morley insurrection. Oh. More of your smuggled uh, goods I can steal. Would I see Dow do that? Just because he can do strange things doesn't mean there's an invisible man watching us. I'll ask him how he does it. Are you crazy? Don't you dare. Oh, please. Come sit on my lap, tough guy. Ah, oh, it's that I need you, otherwise you'd be dead by now. Can I have any idea where we are from this? No, it doesn't look all that familiar. <coughs> so, find the wedding ring and find the coil, the engine coil. And don't kill a very old guy or he will gas everyone. Oh. I do have the ability to stop time, don't I? Oh, and there was also somebody on the glass roof, didn't they? That's what one of those persons said. And they left something there. Oh, hello. Tank. What's that about? Oh, hearty crew, summon assassins deal more damage. I don't summon assassins. Tank. Benefit. Damage taken is reduced. Penalty overall movement speed is reduced. No thanks, I'm very much good with being able to run to places. I shoot the fuel tank for that thing. No, they closed the lid on the damned thing. Just a few. Get caught out when the dead eels come across the canal? No thanks. Every man for herself. Had her pride. I'm touched. You know what I'm going to try and do? And I think I was uh, signing for way too long again. I'm going to stop time 
sprint past the pylon and uh, <coughs> then hack it. Wish me luck. Oh, come on, I don't have time to be. Well, that did half the job at least so far. Two down. Nicely done, gentlemen. The arc pile on instruction. Evans, be cautious with this equipment. It's very delicate and requires a skilled touch to operate. It is also quite lethal, so if you do not follow the proper precautions, you will cease to exist in the wink of an eye. Acquiring the technology took a great deal of polit politicking and expense, so I repeat, do not be reckless with it. Once the system is set up and operational, we'll never see a dead ill darkening our doorway. The mill will become an impenetrable fortress. Report any technical issues to me. Nurse Trimble. Trimble, wasn't that the same guy who also, uh, who had a feud with Piero? Uh, I'm pretty sure I... Yeah. This one I have read. No, I don't have to keep it. Hey, I don't need to. Wait. Let me in. What's the password? Whalebone. Come in, Hatter. Draper's wall texture mill. The daddy yields. With Lizzie stride free... You have a captain to take you up river. Oh, no, we already read that. Sir, the Hatters are using the textile machines to make shrouds for the plague dead. Now we know why they took the engine coil. The man who runs the Hatters is more cunning than he looks. He can flood this place with a toxic gas. In time, it'll eat through our air filters. You may have to make a deal. Yeah, I did think maybe I can, um, maybe I can just kill him and stop time everywhere and then quickly uh, run past everywhere, but, well, I don't much like the idea of being gassed, so, um, maybe a deal is the best option, even if I don't like it. Oh well, see you in the next one.